what made Drew's news mood board. First, in a new piece on Vogue.com, young, a young millennial writer says she got a landline and it changed her life. Yeah. The essay covers all the benefits landlines are great for. Working from home, they work in an emergency, except for mine who's attached to cable, so when the power goes out, it all goes out. And they give your sweet little peepers a break from that cell phone that you just can't stop staring at. Okay, now, for those young people watching at home who think, what is this? This is a telephone, and I'm here to show you how it's done. First, you pick up the receiver. Ah, oh. <sighs> that's right, that's this part right here. And then you think of your bestie's phone number, which you have saved in your mind. It's seven digits if they're local, 11 if they're in a different area code, 310. Now in the 917, I 212, oh yeah, 212, that's a hot area code. While the other side rings, you can fiddle with this curly thing we call a cord. And then your bestie picks up and you talk about boys and girls and life, and it's like the best the thing of beauty, and I'm so glad that they're making a comeback. By the way, this is my personal phone from my bedroom. There are two stories that I love to follow. Um, two sites, excuse me. One is Tank's Good News, and he'll be here on the show with us this month, and another is Upworthy. And if you're not following either of these sites, trust me, I really believe that they will make your life happier. Okay, so go to our website and I'll link you to both of them. So I saw this post on Upworthy, and it gave a, it gave a, a woman, oh, that's what it is, a woman, she gave like serious thought to her LinkedIn profile. Lauren G saw her perfectly polished power pose, and it didn't, and she didn't feel like it portrayed who she really was. And so to show some authenticity, she replaced it with a less professional one and put up a much more real pic of a mom balancing everything in her life. Lauren, I think you really represent how a lot of people feel this year. Okay, let's lift up the veil, get rid of the veneer, and proudly be our authentic self. Thank you, Lauren G. I know, I love this. Time for a beauty junkie alert. So guess what, it's official. Banana clips are back, okay? Yeah, the New York Post reports that the banana clip has seen increased interest and in getting Googled and pinned more than ever. How scary that they know that. It might not seem wow worthy, but just check out this hairstyle Kristen Bell rocked with this bad boy. Yeah, I think that's super foxy. Banana clips are wow worthy. Oh. And speaking of bananas, we had to say goodbye to Carol Baskin, the cat queen herself on Dancing with the Stars. She gave it her all though, and for her last dance, she performed the samba to the circle of life dressed as, as a lion, because of course, you know, <laughs> Carol Baskin lion. So, so long for now, you cool cat and kitten. Oh my God, by the way, if you need more Tiger King, because everybody does, Check out the documentary special on the channel, Investigation Discovery. It just came out this week. Get it while it's hot.